So we've been creating the map with the robot and we got the image there. We showed that on the on the graph graphical uh, package to show that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to have this map and try and get the robot to navigate around the world. So what I'm going to do is to put the map onto the robot's memory. So to upload the map to the robot, I just go to one of the terminals. So I can see that the map is there, map.pgm and map.yaml. And I can send it to the Odroid computer. And I can do that by typing in the following. So SCP, and that will send the map.pgm to the robot. So I'll send that over. It'll probably ask me for the password because I'm now sending that to the memory of the robot onto the the local computer on the robot. Okay, so that's uploaded, and I'm also going to send map.yaml, the describer of the map, over to the robot as well. Okay, now that that's uploaded, I can publish the map. And I'm going to actually publish it from this computer. So we start publishing it there. So it's uploaded and it's publishing and you should be able to see that on our viz. Now, in order to get the robot to drive around, I'm going to Log into the robot. Now you might remember that the robot's already up there with a um, minimal launch. I'm now going to SSH into the robot again. Opening up another terminal into the turtle robot. Okay. Let's open up my crib sheet here. Uh, and then I'm going to type in this ROS launch command. ROS launch turtle bot navigation forward slash AMCL demo launch. And then map file is that one. So. Hopefully this will run. Okay. Looks okay. Just say there's no devices connected, but let's see how it goes. Okay. So we have our robot and we left it down the corridor. And let's give it a navigation goal. And off it goes. Might have crashed into something. Now the problem is, it's in the wrong spot. So it thought it was in the kitchen. It's not actually in the kitchen, it's in the hallway, which is over there. So the robot's looking around, it's lost. It's trying to identify where it is. Now, in an ideal world, I could tell the robot where it actually is. I can hear it banging against the walls. I know that it's here. So I can set the 2D pose estimate and tell it it's over here. When I do that, it doesn't seem to work for some reason. I don't know why, but what we have is a lost robot. Now, I'm going to cheat a little bit then. What I'm going to do is I'll pick the robot up and actually take it to this part of the kitchen because it looks like it's completely lost. OK, 
Okay, now my pose estimate didn't work, but what I've done is I've physically moved the robot roughly to where it thinks it is on our vase. So let's try again. Let's try setting a 2D nav goal. We want it to be just past where I am. Okay, so it's not happy. So what I'm going to do is reconnect, just control C, this. There we go. And then start it again. Why not? I'm sure there are better ways of doing it. Okay, so it's got a good idea of where it is, although it is facing in the wrong direction. Let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah definitely not happy. Okay, so it's more or less facing in the same direction. Uh, okay, let's see. Can't quite tell which direction it thinks it's facing in now. Yeah, that's actually not bad. So we might be quids in this time. Let's try it. Let's try and get it to go into this room. It's off. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, off you go. Nice. Okay, with a little help from my friends. Let's see if we can get it to go down the hallway. So the hallway is where the front door is. Set a navigation goal to where the front door is. And let's see. Up it goes. There we go, could be opening the door, if it had arms. Let's set a nav goal back into the kitchen. So you're gonna go from the door, front door into the kitchen. Let's see how we get on. Made it through the door okay. What amazes me is the speed of these. There we go. We should get into the kitchen and then turn around because I set the arrow to be that way. There we go. And that's how it's done.